Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're talking about the sine rule. This is part of trigonometry and it's trigonometry for non-right angle triangles. Before we begin, we need to know how to label a non-right angled triangle. We label the opposite sides with matching letters. Uh, we call the sides small a and the opposite angle big A. Another side will be small b and the opposite angle will be big B. And a, uh, another side will be small c and the opposite angle will be capital C. And the sine rule says this, that a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. Or, if you're trying to find an angle, it's sine a over a equals sine b over b equals sine c over small c. So we use the left-hand side version for finding uh, lengths, and we use the right-hand side version uh, for finding angles. We're going to use the sine rule for questions where it's not a right-angle triangle. For when we're given an angle size and the opposite side's length, we're already given those measurements uh, in the question. And there is an extra angle or an extra side labelled. So one more side or angle labelled. Let's look at an example. So this is a definitely a sine rule because we've got the 10 centimetres and 75 degrees. They are a side and an opposite angle already labelled. And then we've also got one more uh, length or measurement and that's the 38 degrees. And so we can use the sine rule to find the missing length. Okay, so um, we're going to label this A, A, B and B. I'm going to substitute those values into the version of the sine rule for finding lengths, like this. Uh, and we substituted them in, and now we can rearrange and solve. We get rid of the divide by sine 38 by multiplying by sine 38, and we get 10 over sine 75 times sine 38 is equal to x. And we know uh, we can tap that into the calculator using our fraction button and the sine button to help us. And you should get 6.3737, etc. Just make sure you're typing that into your calculator now and you are able to get that exact decimal. Uh, it, would, it just helps us know we're on the same page if you are typing it in correctly. And of course you can round that to 6.37 centimetres and that is the length and we've done. That is the final answer. Now I've got another example here. We're trying to find the angle labelled theta. And uh, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to find the uh, angle... Uh, opposite 8 centimetres, 8 metres first, and after that we'll uh, subtract 62 and that angle from 180 to find the missing angle. So we label it A, A, B and B, and we take the sine rule for finding angles. We substitute the values in, so 62, 7.2 and 8 go in like that, and we're trying to find the missing angle A. We get rid of the divide by 8 by multiplying by 8, and we get 8 sine 62 over 7.2, uh, like that. Then, we need to do the opposite of sine of A. And the opposite of sine of something is the inverse sine. And so we get this. A equals inverse sine of 8 over sine 62 over sine 7.2, like that. We turn it into the calculator um, because the opposite of sine is inverse sine. And we get 78.82 degrees. Again, just make sure you can type that into your calculator like that and get exactly 72.8288. And so we can label this angle here 78.82 degrees. We'll then subtract from 180. So 180 minus 62 minus 78.82 would give us our third missing angle, which gets us 39.18 or 39.2 degrees. And we've done. Very, very nice uh, answer to a question there. Finally, let's look at this one. I find the obtuse angle labelled theta. When we're handling obtuse angles with the sign rule, there is an extra special step. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so just be careful if the question does say obtuse angle, you have to be careful here. Okay, so a sine a over a equals sine b over b. We're trying to find angles here. We use the version for finding angles where the angles are on top of the equation. Substitute the numbers in. You get sine theta over 7.2, sine 60 over 6.5. 
We get rid of the divide by 7.2 and we multiply by 7.2, we get to here. Sine theta equals 7.2 sine 60 over 6.5. Now we do inverse sine. So we get theta equals inverse sine of 7.2 sine 60 over 6.5. Tap into a calculator, we get 73.59507 degrees. However, that is not an obtuse angle. Uh, that is what it would be if it was an acute angle triangle. To make it into an obtuse angle, we're going to do 180 minus 73.59. So when you are trying to find an obtuse angle with a, with a sign rule, the calculator will give you an acute angle. We get to subtract this angle from 180 degrees to find the obtuse angle value. That is just a rule for handling obtuse angles with a sign rule. Tap the enter calculator and again you get 106.4 degrees and that is the final answer. Okay. You've seen three examples of the sign rule now. It's time for you to apply them. Uh, so I'd like to pause the video and try this yourself. It should take you about 10 minutes to do all three of these questions and just remember the final triangle involves our special um, uh, rule for obtuse angles. Pause the video and try this yourself. I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. That's everything from this week's video with Advanced Maths. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, support the channel by liking and subscribing. This will also help you see future videos when they're released. We're covering GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations. We've also recently launched advancedmaths.com, so go check out all the resources that we upload in there as well for free. Good luck in your exams and I'll see you in the next video.